I think you'll agree with me that when you ask this dreaded question, tell me about yourself, in the most intense environment you can think of, the chances are that you will blabber and will make little sense if you're not prepared. Worst of all, it will most likely be the first question they will ask you in the interview. Today, I will share with you a very detailed answer that will increase your chances to win that job by a probably large margin. I'm Dennis Shashal, I'm a manager with PwC Consulting and also the creator of Landing Interviews Guaranteed and The Career Mastery. I've been interviewing thousands of candidates as a hiring manager for a very, very long time. In this video, my intention is to show you uh, a different perspective than you find in conventional wisdom. Okay? All right, let's continue. First, today I will cover um, what not to do. Uh, these will be short and sweet, I promise. Then we will look at why they're asking this question, and eventually we will craft the perfect answer for you. Okay? Sounds good? Great. So, what not to do? To start with, hiring manager has seen your resume and even cover letter most probably, right? So there's really no need for you to go over your resume bullet by bullet. Having said this, it doesn't hurt your chances to highlight some of your most important qualifications and achievements. Good? Great. When you're presenting your background, don't fall victim to under or over qualification. Just give them what they need. Right? Because think about it, there's a very, very thin line between an overachiever and overqualified. So be careful. Another one, no need to share your life story, please. And oh God, please don't you start from your high school years. It's really a waste of everybody's time. I recently interviewed a candidate for a, for a graduate role uh, at PwC and she literally started her pitch like this. I graduated from grade school in 1995 from XX school and then continued my education further with X junior high school and then high school years uh, were very challenging with new environment. By that point, I was already done. Horrible first impression. I interrupted the candidate and asked her to talk about her current experience. Uh, she definitely failed the interview, not necessarily because of that answer, uh, but the first impression was horrible. All right, another one. Um, don't keep it too long. It's a monologue, so nobody really has 20 minutes to listen to your background, however exciting that, that may sound to you, right? Another one, don't be boring. Uh, please, you know, you can show some serious en enthusiasm in your pitch. Uh, the more energetic you are, the better it is. Oh, remember to smile. Yeah, it makes a big difference, see? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, now, now this is out of the way, let's talk about why hiring managers ask this question. First, um, I, I will cover what everybody else thinks, why they ask that question first, and then I will tell you what I think, why hiring managers uh, ask that question. So everybody else thinks that you're asked to present yourself because um, hiring managers want to see how your, um, how your response would be to a question that you're not prepared. I'm not sure why they, they would think you're unprepared, but um, that's what they think. And then uh, the other one they think is because they want to know what you consider important in your background. For this one, I can agree to a certain degree. I, I would probably also want to see what you consider important in your background. Um, but I think uh, the real reason, and I also know many other hiring managers in multinational organizations, some of my clients um, ask this question, is because we want to see your presentation skills. Really. After all, think about it. We've all seen your resume your cover letter, you've probably already passed the HR interview, you've already been probably Googled, and um, why go over your background all over again, right? Um, even if they haven't seen it before, they're holding that paper in their hands at that time. So um, know this, companies want employees who are presentable, right? Represent the firm professionally to their clients, especially true for consulting and other professional services companies, be it assurance services, audit, or whatever. And then they want charismatic and likable uh, people, especially if you're in a client-facing situation. So think about it. If they ask you to present a company, it will be unfair to you as you have very limited knowledge. But what better material is there than your background to present, right? So they're giving you an incredible opportunity. Right? to present something which you already know very well. So, um, it is very simple. Uh, okay, so what are they interested in? Right? So they're interested in, like, can you speak smoothly without stuttering when you present? Can you be charismatic? Um, are you getting nervous when presenting? 
when you speak, do you impress people? Especially, again, very important for leadership roles. Um, how are your communication skills? How is your language skills? Uh, these and a lot more questions like these need to be addressed by the way you present. See, this is actually an incredible opportunity for you. It's an unbelievable op opportunity. Um, why? Because imagine you're entering a college exam and you already know what the professor is going to ask in advance. Wouldn't it give you an almost unfair advantage? It would, right? This is exactly what it is. You already know they will ask you that question. So you just need to put in the work and study. You need to know how to present your background very, very clearly and impressively. All right, so how to do it? I will present you two approaches here. Uh, let's call the first approach Toyota and the second one is Porsche. All right, in Toyota method, all you have to do is prepare a one minute pitch and it will have three sections in it. One, talk about your current role. Two, talk briefly about your background. And three, talk about your uh, future ambitions and why that company is the perfect match that, um, uh, to what you want. You know, something similar to this. Uh, so this would be what I would say if I were in an interview today. Uh, I would probably say I've been working as a manager with PwC Consulting for the past four years. During this time, I've been providing incredible value to my clients through strategies we developed and implemented for them. Uh, these projects are typically uh, the kind of projects that lasted anywhere from a week to four months. Looking back at it now, I must have done a great job as an engagement manager that our clients particularly requested for me whenever they come back for our new work packages. So, and then you can continue and talk about your background. So the first section is done. Uh, prior to PwC, I was with two other consulting companies, again, in professional service industry. And finally, or maybe firstly, in this case, I started my career with um, S&P, Standard & Poor's, as an analyst. I was with S&P until 2008, which is when I was laid off. I guess some would find this ironic. Um, in addition to this, I have an MBA degree from Cass Business School of City University London, London, and I hold various professional certifications, including uh, PMP, uh, PMIRMP, and CMA. Now, now I'm looking forward to taking my career to the next level with the XXX company and continue to add more value to my clients under XXX umbrella. See, I think pitching this, uh, like presenting like this, would be good enough, but not necessarily something you would collect so many points. It would be like ticking the box, you know? Present it, done, move on, move on to the next questions. If you want to gain even further points with your answer, then I suggest you employ a technique which we use on a daily basis at work. See, in my line of profession at Management Consulting, we always present with supporting tools, always. Um, it could be a PowerPoint presentation, video, chart, interviews with experts, the list is long. We have a lot of resources. So when I get interviewed by clients, I always have at least a PowerPoint presentation uh, made up of only a couple pages, a uh, couple slides. And this allows me to clearly highlight what my relevant experience is, which methodologies we used, and how the results were. See, I suggest you do the same. When you're asked to present your background or talk about your previ previous experiences or like answer the question of tell me about yourself, why don't you take your printed out presentation and walk them through the pages one by one? You know, try to get that presentation printed out professionally with a nice quality binded paper. Uh, it will work wonders. So when they say tell me about yourself, then just say, can I say, just show you? I prepared a short presentation on this. They will definitely say yes. I know I would say yes, and I would be very impressed. Um, so this will actually work great if you're an experienced hire because you have so much to show, right? Um, but if you're a fresh graduate, then I guess um, uh, your internships, on the job trainings, and even your part-time roles during studies will be fine. Uh, the slides may look like, um, I'm actually gonna put a copy somewhere here. So they may look like this. If you're interested, um, I will put a link to a uh, page where you can download it here in the description. Uh, but just remember to customize it to your needs. Um, you don't need to sign up or, in, or anything to, to download it. It's just gonna be a direct download link. While preparing your presentation, focus on your key achievements, make it relevant to the job you're applying for, and then demonstrate why you're qualified for this role. The final step is the most obvious one, and that is practice. You need to practice like crazy. You know, you need to practice your speech and delivery until it becomes second nature to you. There's no stuttering, ums, wells. It's just smooth delivery with 
consistent poses and, um, and eye contact. Show them how charismatic you can be. Alright, so before I conclude the video, can you please do me a favor and like this video if you benefited from it only? Also, this is a very new channel, creating these videos takes so much time, so would you please subscribe uh, to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this? They will be good indicators for me to see if I should spend more time on preparing more videos. Um, finally, uh, this is important, I have one more awesomeness for you today. Uh, I prepared a three-day video training where I teach you how to prepare pass and uh, most importantly land interviews with multinational companies it's a free training by the way uh, it runs for three days so please make sure you're committed to it uh, before signing up trust me when I say um, I share some real life-changing tips there all right that's it for the day um, I hope you benefited from the video and uh, see you next time Hi, I'm Dennis Schoenschel. I'm a manager with PwC Consulting and also the creator of Landing Interviews Guaranteed. I help unemployed and underemployed find amazing jobs with multinational companies through my free video training series. In this three-day video training series that you're signing up for, I'm going to share with you my system for landing, preparing, and passing interviews with multinational companies. It's not easy, but with consistent action from you, and the right direction from me is achievable. We will make a good team, I promise you. Because really, it's about time you learn to stop wasting your time with online applications and learn the real ways to getting and passing it to use. Again, it's a three-day training program, so please make sure you're committed to it. Okay, click the button below, enter your email address so I know where to send your access details. I promise you, your life is about to change. I'll see you on the inside.